And welcome to the Mass Music Morning Show. I am your friend, your amigo, your pal, Jimmy Askins, and I'm here with my friends. What's Hello. going on? Hello. How are you, baby? I am excellent. How are you doing today, sir? Fantastic. Nice Fan shirts. Fantastic. Look at us. We're twinning. Shirts. We are absolutely twinning Nerds. today, baby. Hit each other up. I know, who's, right? Who's over there in the peanut gallery? Today is the day. It's your boy, DJ Famous Shamus, Program Director of Mass Music Radio, and we have Dr. J. Mr. Dr. J. T. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Put some respect <laughs> on that name. Respectfully. Respectfully. But uh, yeah, what we got going on right Excellent now. introductions. We have merch. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys, if you guys watching knew this, you can find it at massmusicradio.com. But today, to start off the show, we are playing Lo-Fi Lowdown. So what's Lo-Fi Lowdown for those that well, don't know? Well, we played it on the debut of season two. Uh, it is a rapping freestyle game. We've all been giving each other these pieces of paper. Secret, we don't know what they I say yet. We have to insert it in the rap that we're going to be doing. Um, and yeah, so kick it off, Seamus. All right, I'm going to drop this funky motherfucker, but who's going first? How about you go first? Yeah. Fine, I'll go fucking first. Since you went last, the last time. So yeah. before I play this instrumental, I shall open my words and read, read them, them off, off, baby. First one, schmuck. Love one, it. One of my favorite words Love to it. use. Second word, which is I believe was from Jake Liberty, uh, the cat's pajamas. Yep. <laughs> oh God, that's a that's a real you know good it. one. And pop tarts. So we got pop tarts, the cat's okay. pajamas, and Let's schmuck over there. There we go. I guess I'm gonna drop it. Uh, let me let this one ride for a little bit. Let it ride. Mm -hmm. Uh, I said, what's that? Yep. I said, what's that? The shit was so lit. Mm. It was like the cat's pajamas. Uh, I might just let off the blammer. Uh, I met her out in Alabama. Uh, told her I could not stand her. Yeah. I needed to get the bucks. Yep. I've been in G Town. It's full of smucks. I said, uh, <laughs> it's full of cucks. I went out to Germantown and it was full of some schmucks. I ain't got no bucks. Nope. Ain't got no luck. Seamus is in good position and he ain't in a rut. Nah. What? And she got the butt. What? Last word is pop tart. Afterwards, I let off a quick pop fart. <laughs> let off a quick pop dot. <laughs> Afterwards, I <laughs> stole a shop cart. Ooh. From Roxy's. From Roxy's. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, you know what I'm saying? I love it. I mean, I, I don't it. know how anyone's going to fucking top this. That was a good start. Uh, was you know, uh, a real instrument. I was expecting the... It was crowd loves it. <laughs> it was my decision to get clean, obviously, but that's more for... I, I thought that was coming. You know, for next bars, but... Um, Excellent job, Seamus. Good luck with everyone else out there. I don't know who wants to follow up that Hall of Fame performance that I just gave. Dr. Jake Liberty, I'm, could you I'm please bless good. us with bless another? Us with I'm feeling good. What do you All got? Right. What are your words? First one is Miley Cyrus. Miley Cryus? Did okay. I spell it wrong? <laughs> <laughs> C-R-Y-U-S, but Miley Cyrus. Miley Cryus, okay. Miley Cryus. Uh, so sorry, Apple, Miley. Apple Watch. Yep. Hell yeah. And Dirty Napkin. Ooh. A dirty napkin. Cyrus, Wonder where that came from. The story napkin. writes itself, really. It does. I'm gonna drop this motherfucker, Jake. Okay. This one's real sensual. I was gonna say, I'll get the ad libs if you need. Okay. Right. So. Okay. The beat is clean, not too dirty, so we don't need to clean it up. But if I did, I would grab a cup and grab a napkin mm. and wipe it up. Make that napkin a dirty napkin. Yep. That's word one in this fucking rapping. Miley Cyrus is my inspiration. Yep. Man, she's a badass bitch. Oh, <laughs> from the nation. And I mean that in the best way possible. No jab that. Okay. Yep. 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 Back on the flow. I'm like, oh, what? I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, fuck, what? fuck. It was uh, my decision uh, uh, to get yeah. clean. <laughs> I'm like a fly on the wall, like Miley Cyrus's song. Yeah, and she likes to spit those rhymes. And I check my watch to see the time. It's an Apple Watch. Yep. And it's time to stop on the dime. Hit all three words, and this rap is actually fine. Ooh. 
That was fucking smoother than uh, a lot of smooth things in this world. Better than it. it wouldn't be a rap without me if I'm just like not laughing. I wish I got Dirty smooth. Napkin. Yeah, I was gonna say napkin. Dirty Napkin. I definitely could have taken a lot of uh, I had artistic I directions. To, yeah, I had I had where I wanted to go, and then like I just couldn't couldn't catch up the words yeah, with what I was thinking. But hey, when in I, doubt, I, I, it's I, my yeah. decision to get clean. That's what, I, <laughs> that's what I've learned. Facts. My uh, oh, it's always so funny. My last name James Askins is oh, similar to Napkin, so I like rhyming uh, those words. But I'll go now. My turn. Right, you can go. All right. My what words, words. Jimmy from the Q. Grapefruit. Grapefruit. Yep. All right. Do you, you know what a grapefruit is? I do. Have you dabbled in grapefruits? Of course. <laughs> a Love little grapefruit. duck. A little duck. duck. All right. I'm trying to give adjectives. With a it, little you know. duck. <laughs> oat milk. Perfect. All right, little duck. Oat milk. Great. All right, grapefruit. let's drop this Sounds motherfucker. Like Please drop that beat, sir. This is Jimmy from the Q. Catch me in the morning. I'm in my. I'm in there zoning with my cold brew and with my good crew. Coffee with the oat milk. Yeah. yeah. Robe with the finest silk. She touching on my grapefruits. She touching on my grapefruits. You said that. And yeah. I can not lose. Not lose. Uh. I was a little duck in the pond. But now I'm a crocodile on your mom. <laughs> and I'm attacking. And I'm snacking. <laughs> I'm in Florida, yep. in Miami, yep. with the heat. Shout out Pat Riley. Yeah. And I'm that guy, like John C. Riley. <laughs> but I'm not your step bro. I got a lot of hoes. Ooh. And they touching up my grapefruits. Ooh. They touching up my grapefruits. Yes. <laughs> my grapefruits. Whew. That was, that was fucking amazing. That was that was sensational. That right was there. top tier. That right was Thank sensational. you. I mean, not only did he use it on my grapefruits to yeah. sing songs. Was was like, that might back. become a song actually it's soon it's on, I really on like the radio. That one. I mean, we've been talking about a mass Summer music hit. album for a long time, <laughs> so I, I, I think it's only right. Shlomo, please follow up. Sir. I got you, dog. All right. What do you want? I was gonna say I don't know if there's even any point of this. We're gonna need a big one from Shlomo. We have silk sheets. Ooh, I like that one. Very specific. Kung fu. Very nice, very like the nice. Panda. And the third one is the rain. Oh, this Feel is perfect. Feel the rain on your rain skin. No one else can wow. feel it for you. So Are you cheese, ready? The rain and kung fu. I'm dropping that shit on you, slow mo. No one else. Get going. All right, drop it, drop it, drop it. Yeah. This one's gonna be a little romantic for y'all. Oh God. Oh. If there's kids in the room, tell them to close their ears. Yeah, I like this beat. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Check it. Yo. All I hear is the motherfucking brain. I've been going through some pain. Got the shorty on my line. Shorty is kind of a dame. Ooh. I ain't talking about Lilith. Nope. She acting like a lizard. Cause that tongue is so long. Damn. I took off that dong. Ooh. Now I'm doing kung fu. I might have to karate chop you. Damn. <laughs> and I'm on my silk sheets. I'm with this little freak. Ooh. Doing what? Doing nothing. That your mama wouldn't do. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm Crocodile. sorry, dog. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was bad. Are you talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> you talking to me? No, 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 no. Do I have to respond with a diss right now? I was gonna say, oh, 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 you're oh. the first ever lo fi freestyle diss. Oh, bring I'll it back. No, nah, I'll, I'll spare you. All right, thank you. Ha- <laughs> hey. I've, seen, I've seen Jimmy freestyle and I've seen Jimmy battle. I don't want that smoke. We only have a, 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 a certain amount of time on this show, you know? So I can't, you know. We'll That'll be on the next low yeah. follow down. Catch it. Maybe I catch a whole another uh, uh, an actual music video right. with my response. Who knows? Ooh, never Who knows? know. Never know. That was some great competition, though. I will say. Did you I mean, obviously. Someone? I did. I banged out all three. Were, were. Yeah, obviously. In a very I'm sensual heavily, manner. Yeah, heavily that biased. Was, the kung fu was nice. That was a good line. Well, he made a fart ad lib, and I was like, "I'll karate chop you." I know it was good. You know. Well, when you said taking off a thong, I just naturally. Yeah, he goes. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and I'm like, yo, if I wasn't a professional, that would have thrown me off. <laughs> it's a good ass ad lib. The crocodile on your mom was the best. Yeah, yeah I was, was going to say, I got to cast my vote for Jimmy from the queue. Yeah, I again, mean, dude, I think he'll that take it. That's tough. like, he, he ascended. Dude, I think both of us improved and we still got I smoked. definitely improved, but Shlomo I don't think I'm anywhere near, near where I need to I be. I get blessed no. with good, uh, with good papers, really you know, just, you guys. Always... I'm just consistent, I think. I'm yeah. not like, I'm not going for the top slot. I'm trying to just be in my own lane. Yeah, I would consider my own raps, art raps, you know, it's definitely it's something that should be, uh, <laughs> Displayed in the Museum of Fine I'm more Arts. of an experimental artist. I feel you. Well, uh, I'm glad that Lo-Fi Lowdown was successful. And if I, anyone out there thinks Jimmy from the Q is also the winner, then let us know. If you think I was the winner, though, definitely, definitely. I think out. I think we're all winners w w with this excellent morning. We're alive today, right? Beautiful exactly. Day. Beautiful day. I'm we're breathing alive. right now. That's pretty lit. And after this commercial break, we're going to be having, be having another draft. I love doing drafts. I won't be a part of it. We'll be joined by Jack Quinn. You draft dodger. And DJ Chris Cross. <laughs> oh, how dare you say that, sir? Awful. How dare you? Sorry. Shout I wish I could host it. Shout out all Maybe the draft I could be dodgers. In the booth. I would like to be in the booth hosting it, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, we're going to be having a draft, so stick around. Mass Music Radio morning show right after this commercial. Hey, buddy, it's your boy Jimmy from the Q telling you if you want a pizza pie with some of the most legendary blend of ingredients, crispy crust, bubbling cheese, savory tomato sauce, get your little caboose all the way to Bravo's Pizza in Quincy Point. It's absolutely amazing. It's the best slice in town. And get this, if you have any mass music apparel and you wear it to the restaurant, you can get 10% off your order today don't miss out bravo pizzeria quincy point you're listening to mass music radio and welcome back to the mass music morning show i'm joined by mr dr j mm -hmm. and across the table we have dj Chris Cross. yes sir yes sir and fred durst himself <laughs> Uh, JQ in the building, baby. Yeah, man. <laughs> now, fellas, today we are going to be having a draft, but let me pose the scenario, all right? Because this is for the fans. The fans are going to decide who's... And I'll give a spoiler right now. It's it's going to be centered around beer and liquor. Money. All right? Now, the scenario is you're you're the one that is stocking this bar. We each have a bar. Shlomo's bar, Jake's bar, Chris, and JQ's bar. You get... One choice, one beer, one liquor, and then a miscellaneous, either or. Or you could, let's say, do, should we should we let them do a non-alcoholic? No. What do you mean? Like I mean that's like interesting. For the third one, that's what I'm saying. I might oh, throw so that in the pot. Yeah. Non-alcoholic. Right. Hmm? So like, like Coke? <laughs> Coca-Cola, yeah. Yeah, like but that. are we talking like uh, a... Like, mixer? Like a... What what are those what are those things the girls are drinking nowadays? Those espresso Seltzes, martinis or some right, shit cool. like that? Oh well, yeah, yeah. Like, we, could, we, could like, do, we could do we could do drinks like that. Yeah, like, miscellaneous like, for the third round. Put a little bit put a, <laughs> yeah, put so. put some vodka in a frosty from Wendy's or something. Call it a day. All right. All right. No. <laughs> so bring it back. So first round will be beers, boys. Biz, <laughs> biz, absolute. You know what I'm saying? There are so many choices, but you know what? As the uh, as the youngest lad in the crew, thank you, sir. JQ, I will let you go first. Thank you. I don't think you really had a choice. All right. Uh, I my first selection for uh, my bar, which is gonna be called JQ's bar. Um, I'm <laughs> I'm going Winter Ale Cold Snaps from Sam Adams as my first wow. selection. Damn you. All right. That's a damn good choice. Yes, sir. It is. Damn right. All right, DJ Crisscross, what do you got for us? DJ Crisscross in the DJ Crisscross bar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, not I'm not so big on beers, but uh, you know we'll uh, go with. Uh, well, JQ's already taken the cold snaps. Cold snaps is, are elite, which is very good. But um, we'll say uh, import Heinekens. Okay. Solid choice. Honestly. Very classy that's choice. A deep, it's a deep cut, believe it or not. Yeah. That, that's a good one. That's a good one. Mr. Dr. J, what do you got for us? So my bar, JQ's Bar 2. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what? Is, <laughs> it's all your name. <laughs> it's, <laughs> are you but I'm ribbing two. Me, bro? <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with Mighty Squirrel Cloud Candy. New England IPA. I'm not an IPA fan, but those 
you can drink easy. Those are it's not too hoppy, it's not not hoppy. It's a good beer for anyone. So I'm gonna keep it local, keep it keep it fun. I like that. All right, that's not too shabby. I'm so happy that none of you choose, none of y'all chose what I wanted to choose, and that is a nice ice cold Corona with a lime, baby. We got oh, limes for days, bro. <laughs> we got Ronas on deck. Trust me, man. It's too triggered. Never There's never the a corona, bad time. Man. Simply because of the name, man. They muck the name, man. If anything, that's the more reason to get it. I'm not getting it. Coronas man. are delicious. Think about the news yeah. last year. Corona this. Corona that. Corona this. Makes you want to switch. That it was, was all a marketing corona. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They were probably pissed. It was all a marketing fun. ploy. It was all corona. a scheme. Big facts. So uh, I'm going with Corona. Final so, answer. Solid choice. Um, so is this it goes back around? What do I pick another beer? Am I, uh... Nope. Round one is over. You get one choice of beer. Round ah. two will begin right now. Mm-hmm. And we're talking liquor. Yeah. Hardly know her, but <laughs> <laughs> that's the choice, dog. Nice. Um, let's see. Um, are we talking? We got to go specific. Uh, are we going vague? Like just picking the like we got to pick the brand, right? Yeah, uh, pick uh, the brand. The brand. Uh, and so, if you uh, want the flavor. Ooh, okay. Uh, I'm going to go with. I'm trying to think of what what brand tequila is my favorite. Oh, you're going tequila? Oh, okay. F- for sure, bro. Um. Jeopardy theme song. You know what? Just off the top of my head, I've been, I've been liking uh, Costamigos lately, so I'll, I'll take Costamigos. Costamigos. Yeah, yeah. Some friends. I'm Great sure, answer. I'm sure there's more better choices, but I gotta go with my taste buds right now, and that's. Great answer. Stick to your gut yeah. or your liver in this situation. So. Uh, I, I love the answer, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you, you snaked that one from me. <laughs> I, I knew I was, he was going to try gonna, to choose that you know, one. Yep. A bar, you, can't, you can't lose with a bar full of tequila, man. You nah, can't lose, of course man. not. Especially with the ladies, man. Tequila is superior, so, you know. JQ's um, for the ladies. We're, we're going to go with uh, with my second choice, which is uh, at Chris's bar. We'll be fully stocked with the Douce. Oh, oh yeah. honestly, yo, I'm that's taking, a good one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the Douce, man. You know what I'm saying? Like the Heinies the... and Douce, okay. Yeah. Damn. It's not too shabby. It's tough because I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I wanna have my bar be different, but like you need tequila. Like Chris is right. Like, yeah. If there's one booze you have to have. You gotta have some sort of tequila. Um. I don't know, man. I guess I'd just stick with it. I don't want to make it too fancy because, you know, I got to make it affordable for the fans and, you know, yep. make it familiar. I'm going to stick with my guy, Jose Cuervo. Okay. Or actually, no, 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 no. Sorry, I pulled that back. Whoa, whoa. Can Ouch. you do that? Whoa, whoa, What's, whoa, the, what's yeah. the rules? What's yeah, yeah, I'll stick. <laughs> Yo, I thought, it, I, wasn't, it wasn't you locked you in. It wasn't locked answer in. Answer yet, it wasn't so locked I, in. I don't know, man. Locked you in. did draft. <laughs> I was going to say, bro. You did draft. It's Patron, a draft, man. Patron Reposado All right. is what I'm going we'll with. We'll put an yeah. asterisk next to your pick. That's fine. That's fine. There we go. Yeah, if I stole that from you, then I'll then I'll stick with it. But Patron Reposado. Okay. I'm going with Patron. Final answer. Wow. At JQ's okay. bar too. Perfect. <laughs> At Shlomito's bar and grill, because they will have food on the side, but for the bar part, I'm going to choose something that I bet you, none of y'all expected. I'm going with Rubinoff, which is vodka. <laughs> why? And let me tell you why. All of the drinks will have absolutely exceptional names. They'll be the most hilarious stuff. I'll have so many variety of drinks, and it will just be different flavors of Rubinoff mixed in. And I think Jake pointed out, make it affordable. Drinks, three bucks for a mixie. Three bills. You know what type of business you're attracting, man? I, I don't want to <laughs> stick like, you, like, you know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm here to have bro, a like, party and have a good time and not burn a hole in people's wallets. I don't know, See, man. you're People on the Coogan's mind. vibe. You're looking for that Scrimps, that young, like, cheap, well, I'm going to hook these, these this gang up. I mean, it also depends on where the bar is located. If I'm in a very yuppie neighborhood and I'm slinging Ruben off for $12, $15 a drink... That's a whole handle right there. I'm making millions by the end of the year. Yeah, you know how many cases you're going to catch selling $3 cups of Ruben off? But yeah, bro, I don't the, think day, the time care. someone sees you, what are you going to stock your shelves with? You're going to have to relabel it. It would be Ruby. Shlomo's, what is it? Shlomo's secret stuff. I'd put LED lights behind it. The, the bottles would glow. People wouldn't care. Ruben off. I don't know, man. That's tough. I guess we'll have to see what the fans say. I think but people if would I be saw Ruben off at a bar as the like, only stocked liquor, I don't know, man. We'll have to see your miscellaneous choice. All right. I'm going with Ruby. Oh. Round three. Dun, dun, dun. Miscellaneous. Could be anything. A smorgasbord, if you will. J. 
JQ, I'll let you start us off. What are you stocking in JQ's bar? Uh, hopefully something better than Rubinoff. Uh, <laughs> That was a wild choice, my friend. Um, miscellaneous. So this is just, <laughs> yeah, this is this is some <laughs> this really is something as I mentioned choice. earlier. Is this something more of like a, a a combo drink, like something that you do personally, and you're kind of bringing it to the shelves of your place? Or? It sounds like yeah. you have something very specific. Yeah, like whatever, in mind. Yeah, whatever, you, uh, whatever you feel in your I heart. I got you. I got you. All right. So ran we on my days where I'm I'm coming home from work and I'm like fuck it, like I'm trying to get a nice little buzz real quick. I'll grab like a t like. It's not a, a tall boy nip, I guess what you would call it. It's like bigger <laughs> than the average nip of this. Uh, it's a Bombay. Some gym. large nips is what you grab. <laughs> yeah, I grabbed okay. some large nips and uh, <laughs> <laughs> of Bombay gin, nice. right? Ooh. And I grab a Canada Dry and I just either some days I might grab two and just take them straight or I'll just put them both in the a ginger ale bottle, mix, mix it up, the slam JQ it. gin and ginge. The Ginny Ginge, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm with that. Yeah, so okay. uh, I'm, uh, my uh, final Ginge. answer word to Jake Liberty, I'm going with uh, Bombay Gin uh, 90, 93 proof, I think it is. Something all right. like that. With uh, Canada oh, Dry burn a Ginger hole in your, your uh, <laughs> liver for sure, but all Fuck right. Fuck it, we're Nothing here for, a, good, we're here for a short Jake time and a good time. So Hell yeah. Chris, what do you got for the, the miscellaneous choice? For the, for the miscellaneous drinks, ladies, I haven't forgotten you. <laughs> um, you know, never oh, will. No, nah, you never say will. More for the for the fellas, or yep. if you know, if you're really sending it. But uh, big facts. Let's. I'm gonna add a tropical delight margarita, which is gonna Ooh. be a, a passion fruit kind of uh, margarita with like mint. You know, so you know, ladies, we got the best tequila. Tropical paradise drinks. <laughs> that's fire, bro. Who doesn't love what? a margarita? That's I should have went with a margarita. One, I was just thinking yeah. in my elky ways of what I'd be drinking. <laughs> Jake, you just, let me yeah, think got, back to this morning. Got something nice, yeah, man, to, to keep the uh, to keep the party going. Fresh juice too. Mr. Like Jake it. Liberty. For the third and final choice at JQ's Bar Two, I'm going with. I was deciding if I should do a middle drink, but I'm going to go with the third of the big three liquors. You can't be missing it. I'm going to go with wine. I'm going to go with red, and I'm going to go with a Chianti. Wow, a beautifully classy. tasted Italian red. Good for any occasion. It invites, you know, it, it okay. levels. So we got the base. We got the IPA, the New England IPA. We've got the Patron, and we've got the wine. Okay. And any, that's, you know, that's a variety for anybody. It depends what night you want to have. Sounds Anything like a classy joint. So it's a classy good. joint. So we have good. fun. You know, we get rowdy for sure. That's Speaking tequila. of getting rowdy, my third choice is going, I'm going back to liquor. I'm going straight to the hard shit. We're going with Don Q Puerto Rican rum. You got to have some rum in there. Make tons of mixies. Mm -hmm. If you don't like the mixies with the vodka, go straight to the rum. And then, like Jake said, we're having good times. You're not going to burn a hole in your pocket. Puerto Rican rum, too. It's gonna yeah, be yeah. Going. There'll be some salsa music played, maybe some reggaeton in the building. The vibes are going to be immaculate, and drinks will be flowing. And, Jake, you're a server, correct? Correct. So, if you're working at Shlomito's Bar and Grill, you're going to be making bands on the tips, bro. Bands, bro. People are going to be drinking, vibing, sending you money left and right, bro. At Shlomito's? At Shlomito's. But I gotta run JQ's bar too. They'll be fine. Maybe with all with those with that business with <laughs> all with, too with my man. three choices there. Not with him having Rubinoff, man. I tell no, you, no Rubinoff. I'm, it's, Rubinoff. It's too I tough. think the people you will choked, disagree. Bro. Nah, bro. From if a business agree. standpoint, it's yeah. A if great you started choice. your business for Quincy I students in 2011, yeah, you would have all the money I almost, in the world. I almost went four locals <laughs> for my miscellaneous. 2021, my guy. Oh, after Jesus. you saying Rubinoff, I couldn't do Thank it. Thank God that you guys are on this side of the <laughs> table. Right, local, you guys I want these low end low, fucking what? bars. That... <laughs> Come on, because how like locals themselves are like two, three dollars. Like how how are you gonna make a profit on a loco? So Ruby, for, you get a for gallon for like 13 bucks. <laughs> There's, yeah, there's a little too. profit margin. I'm thinking business wise. Ruben off yeah. though, bro. Like if I had that, I would be mad that someone gave that to me. That I would have if you to ordered taste it? that again. I'm taking a local. Yeah, I, I mean, if I knew it was there, I suppose. But I wouldn't. Right, I would go for this. Puerto Rican rum. Picture this, so dog. <laughs> it's Tuesday afternoon, right? You just okay. get out of work. You had a tough day, long day in the office, running JQ's bar too, right? <laughs> You're like, I need to just get away from this place. You know, people aren't buying the wine. I'm sitting on thousand bottles of wine. No one's buying it. Let me go over to Shlomito's, right? All I need is a Ruby Tuesday, which is Ruby, just straight Ruby. 
in a tall glass a bigger ruby, than this cup. A ruby a Tuesday. Ruby Tuesday. <laughs> For eight dollars. Listen, I mean, I'm sold. And like, you can take I it like home. The, I'm, I'm sold on a drink's name at the heart. So, like, if there's a pun and it's Tuesday, I wouldn't get the rum. And I wouldn't get, what's you get for a beer? Corona. Corona. I would get a Ruby Tuesday. I wouldn't be happy about it. But yeah, I'd maybe if you're going Tuesday. through, like, a divorce or something. Yeah, fucking yeah. full. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. If you you're get divorced fired from your job through, or you just right. found out Ruby you got, like, fucking, I, I don't like know. Nobody, nobody I can't believe y'all have turned your back on Ruby. It seems like. Ruby's turned its back on me. It was never old reliable. Well, sometimes, I guess. See? See? It's it's so funny how fast they forget. It is fast, I guess. But, like, come on. Like, Rubinoff. No way, bro. Yeah, but Ruby's not, like, a staple like McDonald's. Like, I get it. People tell us feel... McDonald's. But, like, dude, like, you grow up from Ruby. You can still have McDonald's here and there. Yeah. Like, as a man, now not a little kid just trying to score runs and get fucking absolutely plastered. Listen, I'm it's different tiers, Rubinoff, all right? Different dude. tiers. I'd Chris rather... and Jay and Jake are sort of, like, top tier, top shelf liquors, I think. The Doucet, very top shelf. That's the Cavassier. Jimmy wants some Cavassi <laughs> in the building. Shout out to Gianni. Uh, JQ, I think you, you kind of hit it right in the middle. You got different tiers. Yeah, Mine is just straight up going to save a buck. Trash, though. So what if we got Hate a four-story building and just put one on each floor? I would want to be on the bottom floor level. No, you would be. Because nobody would migrate to yeah, the I, top. I, I don't, yeah, that's, unfortunately, that's where you're, you're just going to be at. I'll stay there, man. Hey, I'll honestly, make all though, the bread down there. You know, when you think of it, though, like it, I'm getting big Coogan's vibes. I'm getting big Faneuil Hall vibes from you. And, like, yeah, it's trashy and shitty, but, like, those places are still going. I love how he says my, my, my beautiful idea for this restaurant is trashy and <laughs> shitty. No, no, no. Yeah. I said the Faneuil Hall oh. bars are. Oh, okay. But nah, it did remind yeah. me of a trashy <laughs> and shitty place. I'm getting, like, Quincy Center fucking... Yeah, oh. closed down in four months, vibes. Dude, nobody's Awful. classy on Rubidoff. Yeah. I've never just sat and sipped. It's about Rubidoff how you rocks. dress it up, bro. Parties are my spot, honestly, man. I mean, if I really gotta, you know, what I mean, really think about you it. You got the traveling DJ lit, Chris bro. Bar. We got the Duce. <laughs> we got <laughs> DJ Crisscross. Duce. And we got fucking pitches of margaritas. What Margarita pitches. Yeah, we bro. slept oh, on the pitches. He said, he said pitches. Of Marg, I'll, all right, on a special, bro. You get yeah, one no, no, no. I hear you. Bro. You know what I, I mean? Just, I didn't hear you. No, nah, the Marg is. I forgot about that. For at least to bring groups of people together, sharing yeah, margaritas. But although, I figured, like, what about with the tequila? Like, couldn't you just make the Margs with that? Yeah, well, the, there's tequila in the margarita. Right. That's the. Fair enough. That's the. Whole Me and Chris point. got the top two bars, and I'm not too. It's not. So it's not even close, dude. If I'm anything, this top. guy's got the top two. <laughs> oh, Rooftop deck, bro. Yeah. That Chianti. I want the, f I want the you fans to let us know. No, no, no. You I, say fancy I respect, words, I can't write. I respect write. the wine, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that you, like, that's a good choice. You know, also also when, when there's wine available, like it's got to be a kind of like an option for a romantic setting. Has to be, yep. yeah. You know? We'll see. You know, the music's got to be right, man. Yep. You know, they pour up the wine. You have a yuppie bar. That's Here why I don't like the, it. No bro. way, bro. You got a yuppie yeah, bar. Yeah, okay. You got a yuppie bar. I got the yuppie oh, bar. Oh, rooftop, really? Wine on Castellano rooftops? Yeah, yeah. Who doesn't like a rooftop? Yeah, 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 okay. All I stand by it. We'll listen to the fans. We'll let the fans decide. Rooftop bars are where it's at. And you're not a yuppie. You're not a yuppie. man. And he got the local beer just to see that. spot is where it's at. I mean, let's be honest. You got everything you need. Man, you got a little bit of douce, you got some yak, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you could still, men and women, still could drink the douce, and then you also have the margaritas, man. So, you for know the what kids. I'm saying? Very well rounded. No, not for the kids, <laughs> but men and women and the kids. You know, it just depends on what, what type of party it is, you know, and then we got the fire music. Yeah, my, it's all about the music. My last statement before I rest my case we're in Boston, Sam Adams in Boston, Winter Ales. Boston in the summer though? gin and ginger ale. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> winter ale in the summer can't do it. What you mean? Winter. I'll make it happen. Okay, you actually, and yeah. Let's say, let's say that you your bar there. was the only bar that had cold snaps in the summer. I'm going there. Yeah, it's thousand true. percent. And then I also give you some Costa Migos, and you got some gin, Damn. gin and ginger ale, bro. Come on, man. You got the gin and you guys don't. You guys food. are sleeping on the fact that girls, not all girls. Chris, good choice with the margaritas, but some girls like hard, you know, old fashions. Yeah, bro, and, you know, tequila is always superior, man. I'm hip. It's always so superior. That's why I threw man. that shit the in the mix. Tequila Cosmos, especially when it comes to women, man, you gotta have some. Tequila exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm going for the savages, man. And here's the thing: I know my <laughs> business 
will crash and burn in less than a year. Yeah. But while I'm there, I'm going cheap. We're racking up the Living dough. Living fast. And then it'll get rowdy. No, like there's no doubt in my mind this place will get rowdy. But we're getting in there, making memories, and then we're getting the hell out. Yeah, people are going like the whiskey blind freeze. over at Slow Meat those, man. There's Yo, a line you probably. had to get in. It's all about who you know. Got a ludicrous stand up on repeat. Stand up. <laughs> when I move, you move. Yo. Here comes the hot stepper. <laughs> yeah. Every time you walk in, Return of the Mac comes in. You feel like. <laughs> and if you wear every a Letterman. Every someone new, it just comes back. I would on. play into that local crowd so heavy. Be like, yo, if you walk in in your high school Letterman, free shot. <laughs> <laughs> yo, you're just going to have Nelly Bunch on repeat. Dogs. Just fucking open 24 yeah. 7. Hey, what up? What's up, Tommy? Fuck it'd be it would be a chaotic place to go. But I love it. Fair enough. I'd go. I'd go to all the bars. I think honestly, we might have to put together our ideas mm. and make get a one-day liquor license from the city and see what happens. Block party. Not a bad idea. Well, we'll leave it up to the fans to decide. Let us know whose bar would you pull up to. Would it be Shlomito's Bar and Grill, Mr. Doctor J's J Cube's Bar Two? <laughs> I believe is the name. Bar two. Or do we have? DJ Criss Cross's Cabana Bar. Threw the Cabana in there. Or JQ's Bar. JQ's Bar. Ba. B A H H H. B H A. Capital A R. Ba. Ba. Well, let us know either way and have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. And remember to drink responsibly.